Meanwhile, in the war-torn country of Bolivia, Bolivia. Yeah, are you recording. Yep. Yeah. You didn't tell me. Didn't need to. Yes. Right. Max, come here. It's, it's good. Just, it's good that we started before any of us have subjects, and I don't even have my iPad on me. Dun, dun, ba, dun, ba, well, I thought I'd spice iPad. things up a little bit. I thought I'd start right now. You know, I'll just go on my phone, go on the, the Jar Media Reddit. We have to end it in 15 minutes anyway. <coughs> True. Yeah, we'll go get some Woo! Jar I have a subject Reddit. anyway. Oh. All right. That's so the first. Been the, the worst Hit me. Ain't ever. Right, right. Welcome to Jar Media Podcast episode 83. Every black person is a star. Is it 83? Yeah. We're getting closer to the hundred. Close to my age. But we will, we will get to hundred. In dog we would, years. Won't we? Four. In what? In dog years. Four, In dog years. Got a set of that. Oh. We might get there by the end of the year. Right. I think we will. Yeah. Four, eight. Just the, mm, I've eight, just eight, paper cut my my thumb. You're not too happy about that. Just just. No, I've got it open here. So. so do I. We're not going to start with that, though. We're not going to start with what? No. Okay. We're not going to. Let's start on Reddit because we have shit to talk about. Can I ask why, why do you the, even have like the turbulence? iPad if you've why, got your phone? Why? It's better. Oh. It looks better than having a phone out. It's rude. Alex, what's that noise? It's the new internet. Yeah. What? It's the new. Do you have new internet? No. Oh. Well, did you, yeah, did you I, stick I a turbocharger on your modem? But it's not different. No, because I haven't set it up yet. It's not finished. No, it's finished. Oh. What is it? What do, you have, what, do you, what do you have to do? You have to do something. Yeah, it's all down to this room now. Oh, why have we not done that? Because I told you this morning. I thought that you meant that they had to do some no, one no. more thing. Oh, well, that's what I meant. No. Uh, also, oh. I've got a sore throat, so my voice wow. sounds a little weird. Yeah. What is it? It's a new internet, James. No, but explain what it is oh, on a technical fuck. level. It's a box for doing they internet. It's a box there. It's just a dedicated uh-huh. cable, so it uploads and um, downloads are faster. Okay, I'm moving in. Me too. What? Okay. All moving in. I'm moving in. No, you're moving out. I'd moving actually be out. closer to work as well. Sorry, Alex. Yeah. James, what have you been up to? You slimy little bastard. Nothing. <laughs> I've done nothing. I've accomplished nothing. Jim? <laughs> uh, I... I watched Mad Max again. Did you? I Why are you if... putting off Guardians of the Galaxy 2? People on the cast want to hear it, your opinions on it. Um, it's long. Is it? Two hours? It's normal movie length. It's two hours of my life, brother, that I can't get back, brother. Come on. Brother. I have priorities over Guardians of the Galaxy 2 if I'm going to be fucking frank, <laughs> alright? <laughs> Don't fuck frank. I prioritize... Anything Hot over Horseman. Mm-hmm. I prioritize... Another thing that has a two at the end. What else has a two? Mass Effect two. Yep. I prioritize Narco season three. <laughs> I haven't started Narco season three. Anyway, um, I prioritize. Enough. Ruben, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, uh, when did we last do a podcast? A week ago. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, I've got a bit of a cold. Got yep. a paper cut on my thumb. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> going, oh, uh, going to university again. I changed course last year for any of you OGs. So this is the penultimate episode of Ruben being sat there for like a while because like, I'll be back for like you know a few weeks at a time sometimes. So we'll both record about eight episodes in a day. Mm-hmm. That'll be good. If it gets a bit stale, then stick <laughs> with it. That'll be an, an interesting one in a couple of weeks. James, ask me what I've done. What have you done, Alex? How about you actually say I it and you don't wants fucking to whisper about. I know what he wants to talk about. What did you do, Alex? I went to London and I saw The Room. Did on the big have, screen. Did he have... He like, had like two or three belts on, yeah. But one of them looked like it was like a cowboy belt. With belt like, yeah. Let me let <laughs> yeah. me quickly explain. I went to London and went to a midnight screening of The Room, the Tommy Wiseau movie, with him there, and his sidekick Greg, what his name is, <laughs> Sestero. And it was one of the weirdest experiences of my life. How many people were there? It was packed. 
It was so packed that people were standing up on the sides. Really? Yeah, were you stood up? Tell. No, I was sat down. I got a seat. Genius. But it was... You know, um... Apparently him doing the I did not hit her, I did not thing. Took like 30 takes or something. Well, apparently it didn't. Really? Well, all, all like of the, the information they have from it is from the other Greg. guy, Greg. He wrote a book called The Disaster Artist, um, which has a lot of insight into the behind the Why scenes. Why are they of still the like friends? I got to see their chemistry on stage. It was fucking really weird. They did like a Q&A and people were asking questions to them and Tommy, the way he answered them was like, he just completely disregarded what was actually being asked and just was in his own little world just and just said whatever he felt like. It was really fucking weird. I love Tommy. But there, there are things... The, it's got such a cult following. What me? That I was reading the IMDB trivia of the room and one of the things says... It's got um, such a, a love for it now that um, like midnight screenings of the room are um, a really popular thing and people show up with footballs and plastic spoons. Why plastic spoons? It took me ages to figure out what the plastic spoon thing was all about because every now and again everyone would just shout SPOONS and would throw plastic spoons all over the place uh, towards the screen. And like before the film started, this woman came out and was like, "Look, um, we got. I know this is really fun or whatever, but we got some rules. You're only allowed to throw plastic spoons, nothing else. Otherwise, you could have an eye out. No alcohol. And there were just fucking hundreds of plastic spoons everywhere. Why plastic yeah, spoons? Why? I, I still am not one hundred percent on it. <laughs> I think it's because in." Um, Tommy Wiseau's house in the film, there are loads of framed pictures of spoons. <laughs> Just all around. That's that's what he has on his walls. Oh, okay. Um, that's like and your like, theorem. You know, it was so, so bizarre. And they were just throwing spoons all over the place and screaming. It's, it was weird because it's like the opposite of what I'm used to when you go to a, like a movie theatre. And everyone has to, you, you're as quiet as you can. You don't want to make a, a single noise, but this one was just... Everyone's screaming with laughter and people making jokes and shit. It was really strange. And it was at midnight as well. <laughs> it was just a, a really bizarre experience. That I, and you you could, if you wanted, actually go and meet Tommy. But after the q and I was like, I, I don't want to be anywhere near that man. <laughs> that was, he did this really awkward thing where this woman came up and asked him a question. <coughs> um, they were on the stage and the Q&A people were like back down there. And she was wearing like the red dress that the character does in the movie. And he was like, you come up on stage. And she like came up on stage and he was like being really touchy and weird and awkward. Mm. <laughs> just, God, just, just, where is he actually from? Tell me so. He's Polish American. Oh, right. Um, nah, he's from like Seattle or something. No, he's from Poland. But why did he always say he was like... Because he, he keeps his... He's so weird. He keeps his whole past like a complete secret. Um, no one knows every detail. Tommy. And apparently he was in some, like, ridiculous car crash in America somewhere. Um. <laughs> and it, it, it was, it was like half past twelve at night and he wore sunglasses the whole time. In a really dark cinema. He's, he's a bizarre person. He is one of the most estranged people. Yeah, I'm just reading about him right now. He, he claimed to have been born at about six. He gave an age that would make him yeah. born around 68, but... He's actually 10 years yeah, older. Yeah, he's apparently 10 years older, according to Greg. Yeah. I, I want to read the book. It actually sounds really interesting, because it's just so, so weird. Like, there, there was a subplot about a vampire that was cut out of the movie. Because... Yeah. Yeah, like... He just... Re yeah, fan this is a quote. Fantastical, sad, self-contradictory stories. It's just what Tommy would tell Greg. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's this character, this, like, kid character that just keeps coming into the flat. Yeah. There was going to be a subplot where he's, it turns out he's a vampire. What the fuck? <laughs> and, like, he, it was going to be, like, Tommy was all... Rizzle. Tommy Rizzle. No, Tommy was all, um, to the producer or whatever. Um... We need, we need to have a scene where a, a car flies over San Francisco. And they were like, we don't have the budget for, f budget for that, Tommy. 
So they cut the vampire subplot out. How would that have made any sense in the movie? Like, at fucking at all? It makes no sense, but at the same time, it makes a whole lot of sense. For him and his brain. Yeah. Probably. I apologise for this mic, because it's really awkward, because it has to be here, so I have to turn away when talking. Because if I put it there, it would block Ruben, but... My lips are dry. Jim. Don't so, worry, the greasy Sammy's will lose all right. your lips. <laughs> no. I'm probably going to end up having to go... When when does he do these, these, these screenings? Well, did he just do it around America and, like, Europe? I didn't even know he was doing it. I just discovered it by accident. Um, they were doing it, I think, every day for, like, a month or something. I'm gonna have to probably go to one, or probably get forced to uh, go to one. You can't watch The Room. No, it's not me. You walked away, didn't you? I, I would never be able to watch one, but I still get forced too to cringy, watch it. Too cringy, yeah. Yeah, it's too much for me. So Red have fucking you seen it, loves it. Because it's really funny. She's fucking obsessed you know, with um, it. You know, ten minutes of the running time are sex scenes. Yeah, I know that. Because How long is They're the parts I don't like. It's one hour, forty minutes long. Hour and a half is, like, an actual movie, then. Yeah. And ten minutes of it is just pussy pun. Ten minutes. That's the only part I find annoying about it. The constant sex scenes all the time. So that was half my topic. I, I've i got my list of topics. As if you're trying to actually want. make like a porn movie just with flying cars and vampires and shit, but just couldn't... I don't know. Well, it's everything for him. He just is self-aggrandizing. Just all happened, just wanted and to... Now, and now he says it ever. was always intended to be a comedy. But it definitely wasn't. It's a lie. So I've got um, from my list of of uh, comments or ideas for subjects. We did the one about children last time. Mm. I've got children? I've got some new ones. You about need to children saying about saying like what the, the, amount of you know, the you best amount of children to be have to be one part. Um, <clears throat> out of these, which one should we do? I'll try and break them down a little bit. Something to do with religion. <laughs> Something to do with technology, something to do with the ocean, something to do with murder, something to do with... Some of them are like, I can't just say, otherwise mm -hmm. it would just give it away. Let's talk about sharks. Do, no, do, no, do the ocean one. Yeah, sharks. You want to do the ocean one? Yeah. Why? Where did James get sharks from? The ocean sharks are in the like, ocean. There's more to the ocean than just sharks. <laughs> I know, but like, when I think ocean, I think water. I'm not like sharks. Sharks. Yeah, yeah water sharks. is the first thing I yeah. see. Okay. So you want to do the ocean one then? Yeah. Yep. Um, deep water fish and creatures. We've talked about that before. We've talked about this before, because yeah. I talked about how much I hate them. Yeah. No, that that was a different topic. It was... What do we find? What, what do we have a fear of? Yeah, that was it. It yeah. wasn't the topic. That was ages ago. Yeah, that, that was, was like ages ago. Six so or fine. seven months ago. Um, Ow, my big. I was just. Th I was really. I sat down and was thinking about it, and was like, just looking at pictures of underwater like fish, deep sea fish and creatures. I'm just like, if this is what Earth can produce, yeah. In like the galaxy, what the fuck else is there that's like? That, that is probably like 10 times worse than that. And it's like 10 times bigger. Things that are literally totally beyond our imagining. Yeah. Like we, can, yeah. we cannot imagine it. Because it's just so. Com it's completely. Well, it's not Earth like. So we'll just like. Don't, don't I mean, like. Clue. I'd say that the deep sea stuff isn't Earth like. Spiders are like alien to us. Let alone what's deep in the sea, let alone what's fucking far imagine out. Imagine the weird little things that are crawling along the very, very deep sea bed. I don't even want to think about that shit. <laughs> Some gross ass giant spider shit. I just wouldn't want to go down there. <laughs> I bet there are just like giant spiders that could live on, like out of the water and they're all making their way from the deep sea. They've been making their like, way for like thousands of years. Yeah. It just really takes some slowly. fucking ages. But like. Because like they're climbing and then the water current changes and they get like, oh shit, and they fall <laughs> off. And they, There's they so much of again. it still is completely unexplored. So they're probably like. Really well, isn't it like a ridiculous thing? Like ninety-five percent of it is completely unexplored, or something crazy like that. Well, yes, yeah, like we know more about the galaxy <laughs> than we do the sea, our own Earth. I'm gonna find out. Google yeah, it. find like an actual figure. Um, we know more because some of them are just like so fucking weird. Like there are some that have like big swollen eyes that look 
they just look illogical. Yeah. Like, how did evolution make that? And, like, a lot yeah. of them, their purpose is so specific. <laughs> we have explored <laughs> like, less like, than 5% of the ocean. Yeah. That is terrifying. Yeah, There's knew, probably some big fucking creature. Yeah, there has to be. There Godzilla. has to literally fucking be. Some huge oh, yeah. creature you know, that lives under that. Every time we do a podcast, I say, I'll show a picture. But I forget that I said it. I can meet. So the podcast ends. Ten days pass. I've obviously forgotten. And then I just don't do it. Because I just, I just forget to mm. do it. But this time, I'm going to write down to remember. Write a time code on your yeah. phone. <laughs> podcast 83, gross fish. Because I'm just going to talk about a few deep. Well, it, ocean even the the angler fish, fish with yeah. the light, like, like all of their stuff is, revolves around light, isn't it? Yeah, it's so like clever. It's so horrible. It is all really it is horrible. So horrible. But like that's like, that's evolution in its prime. Why does that creature need to exist? <laughs> this creature. Why does that exist? <laughs> it looks like something out of a. I'm just gonna have like a anime. few. St- few pictures going about on yeah, the screen. Yeah, that, that statement that just there applies to anything. Yeah, from down so there. like it doesn't fucking matter. Goblin sharks. Why Why are they a thing? Those are the ones we use on the thumbnail. Let me see. Why? <laughs> why is that the thing? Have you seen the shark that like just swims around with its mouth wide open? Well, the basking shark. Basking shark. It's just, no, like a deep sea oh, one. Uh, I thought they were the deep sea. One of them are. <laughs> Look, this is horrible, but it's kind of a funny meme. <laughs> what? Look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> that just looks like a person. Look, if I show that to the camera, I can zoom in real far and work out which one it was based on the colours. God. It's like, it looks like some sort of elite dangerous shit. Like, then there's, <laughs> then there's this cunt. But we've all seen the him blobfish, before. Yeah. The blobfish. We've all seen the blobfish. Yeah. Right. What a, a scary place. Like, I was imagining... It, it is hell on earth. Yeah. I can't imagine a worse Like, what if thing. that is hell? Like, when you die, you become a deep-sea fish. Uh, yeah, but you might have it good, then. Because if you're, like, an anglerfish... What if it's a, it is something out of, like, a... Like an old wives' tale or something. When you die, you become a... It's like the Abyss from Dark Souls. Yeah. I'm really struggling to look it, through these. That's what it's like. like. It, they are, like, real-life Dark Souls creatures. Yeah. But almost worse. Because at least with that you know, like, it's just a video game, but in real life. <laughs> it's horrible. I'm still looking for, just, like, another... I don't like the sea as it is, but, you know, at least a turtle looks really cute. A seal looks really cute. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, ev- even, like... <laughs> a, 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 Alex does, you know what I mean? Even a great white shark, like, it has, has some place... cuteness to it. <laughs> it has some place being on this earth. Yeah. You know? It fits with the, the art design of the earth. <laughs> But then yes. there's these fucking like you know like I just want to <laughs> Earth that we know is like Halo one yeah. two and three. Know, <laughs> the ocean is like Halo four and five. The deep ocean. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Even the ocean's pretty weird. It's pretty whack. There is some it whackness in it, but it does yeah. as you go down. So like by that logic, is space just more whack the further out you go? The, the fr- further the further in you go. The further in. Depend. Well, there is no in or out. There's no concept of it. Just the further you go. <laughs> Well, there's a concept of down. Well, yeah, I suppose the, the only thing is, like, well, there is no up or down, because once you're in space, it's just, like, whatever. Yeah, but water isn't space. No, I'm talking about space right now. What? I was saying, if that's, like, if if the rule applies to the further deep, oh, the right, deeper you right. go in the ocean, like, the further out you just go into space, the more yeah, wet out, it gets. away. Yeah. I yeah. really want something From to be Earth. discovered that's, like, just revolutionary in terms of, like, weirdness. It has to happen, though. What, in terms of it's the impossible. sea? impossible. Yeah. Just anything. I wouldn't mind just any weird, crazy shit to be discovered. What if there's like a civilization under there somewhere? Atlantis. Well, there's gonna be ruins of one. There yeah, has probably, to be. Probably gonna be something down there. Well, what do you mean, like? like Aquaman. Just Cameron. James Cameron's no, got that... a secret, like civilization. If down there's there. any Cameron sort of like C-man. human type thing living C-man. down there, <laughs> just Aquaman. Seaman. An actual like Aquaman thing down there they'd look so freakish and horrible yeah mm-hmm. they'd well, look they like wouldn't, they wouldn't be like us join. would they because they'd be flat because they'll have fucking pressure on his down there <laughs> they can't yeah. so when yeah. they like come this. out they look like bruce for lunch <laughs> i don't know who that is yeah you do i sent you a picture of him the other day oh oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know what this is about alex keeps doing this i don't understand hmm? what is the bruce Blanche or whatever thing on about? argue the corgi instagram account i just posted that picture <laughs> Hey Jim, do you want a strepsil? Not really. <laughs> Anyone want a strepsil? Are they lemon? Mm-hmm. 
the honey and lemon. Yeah. Ugh. Horrible. I thought this would be the best one. I can't. I can't use those strepsils because they just taste so horrible. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, now Murphy wants one. Murphy, you don't have a sore throat. You don't have a sore. throat. You don't know that. What if he does? What if he's Murphy? actually like? Please. Come on, Murphy. Get out of here. Why is he suddenly called Murphy? He's always been called Murphy. No. You twit. He's called Max. What? See, Max. He is called Max. Murphy. Murphy. Good boy. Murphy. Stop calling Good him. Good boy. No, it's just oh. you shout it. <laughs> he knows the truth. Murphy. Murphy. Max. See? Yeah, you. But if you just go, <gasps> John Snow. Come here, John Snow. John. John Snow. Max. Good boy. <laughs> You're really Max. You're really Max. He's a diamond dog. He looks yellow to me. Oh, have a yellow diamond, diamond, probably. You can get a yellow diamond. <laughs> Lemonade diamond. He's wee on it. Oh my god, I just had such a good idea, but it can't be said out loud. Is it? Because it has to be a surprise. Oh. Uh, how far are we? How far are we? Oh, how far are we? 22? 27? I don't know. 2.1. I'll zoom in and enhance my phone. It didn't go to work? No. <laughs> Gonna try anyway. It's funny how, like, when you go up in the sky, there's nothing fucking weird, is there? Yeah, sorry. Oh. No. Why, why don't we have sky civilizations? It's because like there's no source of food. Because gravity, probably. Well, we can have flying things. Yeah, but they can't stay but in the air constantly. Yeah, they can't just, like, fucking levitate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't we have sky civilization like Minecraft? Like we can't just build things in the air and they stay there. We could actually make us. something. I mean, like animals actually. and creatures. Why don't we have like little um, creatures that live in clouds? I was reading because about um. You can't like stand. No, they're, they're engineered in such a way to like float uh, above them. Right. So Alex is talking absolute shit. No. I was reading about uh, if we tried to build an orbital elevator, like it would cost like. So fucking. It would cost much. so much. It would be insane, and the risk, like, to, to the planet. <laughs> yeah, what if it fell down? <laughs> because depending on, like, let's say something cut through it, depending on whether it was the top half or the bottom half, it would either, like, fall down to Earth, like, and just destroy loads and loads of stuff and kill loads of people, or, like, the top half of it, like, out in space would just drift away, and everyone on it would die. <laughs> 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 so, like, orbital elevators, not a good idea. No. Why not just have, like, shuttles? Does that make way more sense? Yeah, but there's, do you know how much it costs to launch one of those? Well, yeah, figure we out a way to make it not expensive. We get to a point where we could actually do it really relatively cheaply. Why don't we Another. just use like... Need nuclear fucking whatever to happen first. Just Jim, use Jim, you some, take over, you know what I'm talking like about. Just use like a slingshot, but... Can just, anyone smell burning? <laughs> no. I smell Slingshot something. ships into space. Yeah. <laughs> Invent yeah. engines as well, could work. Invent the pogo fling. Find the pogo fling. Me and Alex have been saying that for so long now, and climb I can't believe. Climb the pogo fling, climb it, climb it quickly. Invent the pogo fling, and we'll be in space before you know it. What's the pogo fling? That's a good question, James. If you just invest in my business, then. Uh... If you just watch this short video, we'll explain the pogo fling. <laughs> I like a peep show where she keeps saying, it, and it's definitely not a pyramid. Well, scheme. I was going to say about that to yeah. you. I was like, is this a pyramid scheme, Alex? Is this what this is turning into? The pogo fling. Who keeps saying it's definitely not a pyramid scheme? You know that neighbour? Yeah, she's only in it for like, she's oh, on half yeah. or whatever. This is definitely a py pyramid scheme. That's what Jar Media has been doing. Fling. So that should, I, become should I move on to another subject name. or do we need to keep looking at horrible fish? <laughs> we should, um, you know. <laughs> Jim loves that voice. I love it. Pogo See, these subjects fling. are really good on my phone. They're way better than any of the ones fucking Reddit what? people say. What are you about? Okay, let's do another one of those. Jeez, death. On. Do the death. But then I won't have anything anymore. You're on Reddit. What? You're on Reddit, though. Yeah, because I was just looking at how terrible they are. All oh, right. Someone has a good a good point, though. Malde Barco. When you tell each other, I'll show you after the cast, yeah. you actually remember doing it. I don't think you ever have. Show what? No, we always forget. Because you know, if we're talking about something that isn't suitable to be said yeah, on a podcast, can't, we can't show it on the cast. We'll, we'll say, "Oh, I'll tell you after." after. And then we just forget. And then we go on for like twenty more minutes and just forget. Yeah, so this that. one comes in from James underscore House. Have any of you seen any David Lynch movies? <laughs> so, which ones? What did you think of them? 
I haven't seen what? a single one. No, I've not seen a He's single one. What does that mean? I, I just thought it was funny that her name was James House. Who's David Lynch? Director. Of, of what? Ooh. He's got that epic hair. You know, racer yeah. head. Yeah. I wish I could look as good as David Lynch as he oh, does when he's like... fuck off, Alex. David Lynch is a bitch. What made you stop doing the intros? Mithril hat. Jim, quit. Ruben's bad acting. Jim's too lazy, James is too lazy. I'm not Ruben's lazy, I lazy. wanna do them. I'm not too lazy. Jim, our main actor, quit the is, <laughs> over... Our best things are when it's just like an out of nowhere idea. Yeah. If Those you try to force things. that idea, it's a shit. It's like when people are like, where's Cooking of Ruben 2? Well, it would just be shit, probably. Yeah, yeah we filmed it. We literally filmed it. Did we? Oh, yeah. yeah. That it was, was Christmas. Cooking... Oh, it was oh, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was yeah. intended to be. I thought that was just Christmas special, Cooking of Ruben. Yeah, it, it was still a, like a Cooking with Ruben so next I mean, it was shit. Um, it was it might have been good. No, because yeah. no, the was... first one felt shit as well. No, it didn't feel shit. It felt like nothing. We were just like doing shit. We were doing shit. You make it funny through editing, not, not it being funny. I know, funny. but like, we had the bit was where like I was 50? outside yeah. with the balaclava on and I bring the eggs. <laughs> that like, was funny. That was inspired. There was no inspiration in number two. So we scrapped it. I still got all the files. I was really moody. James was in a You mood. were, you made it really <laughs> yeah. difficult. Yeah, because you were just sitting in the corner being moody. I that remember. That was really moody. That was like prime anime James time. Yeah. That you know, James, you're always crazy. like, I haven't watched anime in like fucking 10 years, and it's like, I really love Galactic Hero Cunts. I'm watching yeah, that you liar. That's, that's yeah, you lie. You always watch. You always <laughs> watch anime. I watching it no, last week. James, you always watch anime. No, it's, I only started watching well, last week. Why be ashamed of it? Anime. Fucking embrace it. Yeah, just embrace the anime. I'm not going to embrace it because I don't do it. But that's a complete lie. You just I'm watching yeah. one thing which I stopped watching for like a few months because I went to Portugal in March. Oh, so I stopped watching it, and now I'm watching it again, sometimes. and it's really good. He's also really gross. He eats poo. No, he's lovely. No, he eats poo, Alex. Achoo, achoo the crotchy. James, I've been watching the camera a bit quick. Yeah, you're watching a really bad one. I've been watching Death Note. It's edgy. No, because Edgy. I've been meaning to watch it for like years, oh, literally years. And the, this terrible new movie that came out, <laughs> um, the Netflix one, made me want to watch it. Because I think the idea is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Really edgy. It is. No, it's not. I watched the comparison. It has an, it's, it's that thing where it has like an edgy fan base. What's the name? A really fucking Is his name Ryuk or something? There. Ryuk, the, uh, yeah. the death god, yeah. Yeah, I watched a comparison thing of when dude, whatever the character, the protagonist, meets like, Ryuk in... Uh, the anime compared to when he meets it he in the movie. He does not give a fuck in the anime. Yeah, he's just like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> but then in the, in the movie, to my he just runs around screaming like it's a comedy, and it's like not. And he's got a little smirk on his face when yeah. he's screaming in the movie. Very, very embarrassing. Yeah, really awful. Doesn't, isn't, doesn't in anime, isn't there white Ryuk too? There are a bunch of different death gods. What? Yeah. Are they all voiced by Willem Dafoe? Yep. Hey, it's me, Willem Dafoe. Hey, Spidey! Let's go kill some people. We can rule this town. <laughs> it's not even bad. What isn't? That's not. Am I give it a watch? No, you it's did. Not. You said multiple times that it's bad. Yeah, you you can't give me shit for it. Yes, because it's death known. It's like... Why, though? Edgy! It's actually a really good story. Yeah, it can be. I'm not saying it's not. You haven't even seen it, so... I'm never gonna time, watch it. All this time, you were giving me shit for it. Because it's death oh. note. Because it's just... Edgy. Uggy. It's not edgy though. It just sounds like Death Note. Like every fucking anime sounds edgy. Ed yeah. Galactic. Attack like on Titan. What anime is, is edgy as hell. What is the Galactic one called again? Legend of the Galactic Heroes. That's so stupid. But it's really just. It's a dumb name for That's us, just a actually. really awful name, is all. Yeah, it is. But it's like. The Vindicators. Really good. That's almost as bad as Valyrian. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I want to watch that movie. I'm, Valyrian? Valerian. Valerian yeah. something. Yeah, it's an anime as well. It's not an anime. No, yeah, but it's a graphic it, it, novel. There is an France. anime of it. Is there really? Yeah. I'm fucking so fascinated by that film. Why? The it looks, CEO it of the... looks like um, a Star Wars prequel made now. Yeah. It looks good. <laughs> but they're wearing Mass Effect <laughs> clear. Yeah, they are wearing Mass Effect <laughs> And they put the Mass Effect scorch <laughs> through the text. When we were watching what? fucking Fast what? and Furious. Why did he just do that? Oh, you kicked the ball over. Kicked the ball over, yeah. 
when we were watching Fast and Furious and it was so fucking boring, we kept putting on like this Valerian clip. <laughs> and this is a bit at the end where like this alien pukes in um, that, what's her name, Cara Delevingne? Yeah. And it like pukes in her face and the clip just ends really awkwardly and it's like, what? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Why did they choose this as marketing <laughs> material? <laughs> It's so well, what was funny about it though is that, like, it, it's that fucking thing that they always do in like kids things where it's like rah, and then the other thing goes rah, <laughs> yeah. but it like vomits in a face <laughs> and it all goes like, and then the clip just cuts out, yeah, fucking straight away. It's really, really weird and, and quite French. Luc Besson, the guy, the oh. CEO of, uh, he was like the executive CEO or something, and uh, he had been there for like a year and a half. And he'd been like, he greenlit this film. Like, well, yeah, the, br- do the production it company. It. Well, he was just money. yeah, CEO of like one of the companies that was a part of it. Got fired because <laughs> they were like, this film is awful, and we're firing you. I can't wait to see it. I just really think it. It's one of those ones that I'm fascinated, like, just how it exists. Is it out? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it's I think it's probably out of cinemas by now. Fucking hell. Yeah. It, it was in cinemas like last month. Like James, yeah. is it? Would this be a good idea? Say I'm I'm person with an idea. I want to make the Valerian movie. Yeah. As a producer, a movie producer, you have millions of dollars, and you want to make you want to turn those millions into hundreds of millions, if not billions. Is is making a movie on the obscure French comic Valerian a good idea? No. Why? Because nobody knows it. It's not gonna make money. <laughs> First off, nobody knows it, so it has no rec- name recognition, yeah. and also, um, big space opera sci-fi has it. It's, it's like covered at the moment. Yeah, especially at, like right now. It's yeah, it's a stupid investment, really. <laughs> and it wasn't even like yeah, this is like Star Wars for adults. It's like it's like Star Wars, but even more babyfied. <laughs> yeah. And with two actors, no one gives a single fuck about. Yeah, it. that lady was the in a movie I watched, and it was she like, was in Suicide Squad as uh-huh. well. Um, yeah, she was in this so other she's, movie. She's been in some good films then. And Rihanna's in it for some reason. Of course, of course. She's do you like, do you like the way Americans say Rihanna? Never heard of her. Rihanna. Rihanna. Isn't that the correct pronunciation though? Don't know. Mm. Doesn't sound very good in English though. I say Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> just, let's just call her Hannah from now on. Hannah. I want to play with Hannah. <laughs> Bring it back rounds, Mass Effect, baby. Fuck you. Fuck you. What's a Hannah? You know, oh, they're the big oh, Hannah, blobs the big with their pops, with yeah. their long, the long legs. My yeah, name is and they like sparkle. And they what say the, this one is happy. Or this whatever. one is epic. This one is going to hurt you and they really, live with that really badly. <laughs> can you play as them in Mass Effect multiplayer? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can play as those little flumpy ones that look like the villain from Destiny the Two. The Vorch. The Volus. No, not the Vorch. The Volus. I didn't the say the Vorch. The Volus. The Vorch of Volus. Jim, don't you think the the villain in Destiny 2 looks like a Volus from Mass Effect? You know what like I noticed? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I noticed? You know his pal in Destiny 2, the older one? Uh-huh. He didn't like he has those bits on his armor. They just look like Javik's design, but like fat and shit. Yeah. Javik being a Mass Effect 3 character. His face also looks like the, the villain yeah. from Resident DLC. Evil 2. You're talking about Destiny 2, by the way. Yeah. You know the you know the movie where of Resident Evil where the main character's boyfriend turns into that oh, that creature, big, yeah, big yeah, 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 that mouth. That's yeah, like, just like remember that. Hello there. What was that called? The the it's the design decisions off, on it? making that enemy faction from Destiny 2 be like the big v- villain is like you such a strange having decision. Having a character that I don't know why they cast like a. a an English guy that sounds like that. Hello Isn't there. he like the guy who did like um, Lex Luthor in the Superman animated series? Really? I think so. I just it sounds like him. Out the but but Evil that thing. it just does not suit the design of that character. Apocalypse. No, not yeah. at all. Okay, should I find out who did voices in Destiny Two then? While we're sat here, how would you make that character sound? Me? Yeah. Well, first of all, I wouldn't give him that dialogue. First off, I wouldn't make him be the villain. It's um, weird because everything in Destiny is so well designed and looks really good. Apart from that, I, video games have this big problem as well, where they make the main villain. Because from a gameplay standpoint, this is the most interesting. But like, they make the main villain, the brains and the brawn. Yeah. When in movies, there's often. But in Destiny Two, they make him the brains and the brawn, and then they also have another is brains. 
the the constant. Yeah. So like, why is the big guy like? Why why is he a big guy? Why isn't he a little guy? And he has a brawn. Um, you haven't been or paying attention to the lore, Jamie. It's just boring. Um, uh, and every every and Destiny it's... thing, every single time there's an expansion or new thing, it's always the new baddies coming, the new big boys coming. Is, this is one's the big boy. worse than the previous one. Is this him? That's the the counts the console over. Is that what the name of that character was? I don't actually know. The console. Because he well, did, the he, name he did, sounds he did right. call him that a bunch, but I can't find who. Fucking whatever his name is, Gaul's voice actor was. I'm gonna wanna know! Oh, no, there it I'm is. I'm Gaul! Who's this guy? Neil. I'm not lost to us. Anyway, yeah, Destiny 2. Yep, smooth. <laughs> Destiny 2, hoop. terrible story. Mm -hmm. Terrible villains. Backstep from fucking Halo 1. <laughs> At least they had the fortitude in Halo 1 to not try and have, like, a villain. That's because you didn't need it. In yeah. Destiny 2, there like, needed to be one. It was, like, the easiest way of giving you, like, a, a reason as to why you're doing anything. But, like, if you're gonna have a villain, make him slightly interesting. No, Jim. No way. It's the pr <laughs> No, make him big. <laughs> and scary. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's... It's really hard to make a good villain. I bet one of, like, one of the developers had a... His son. And he was like, okay, draw a baddie. Mm -hmm. no right, true. that's that's the concept art for whatever the fuck his name is for <laughs> Destiny 2. Ball. Pu publish that. The fuck is his name again? Ball. Ghoul. Ball. There's this really shit <laughs> bit in it, just for anyone, where Alex was saying he, he has his face mask on, so he can't emote anything particularly. Mm -hmm. And he's got giant armor on, so he can't, they can't really move him very well. So he's always going like this, yeah, and like this, and then at the end he does this thing where he's like, Rah! he like says, "I am Ghoul," and he screams, and he does that thing where they put the like pelvis yeah. forwards and shoulders back and fists out and like head up and screams, it. and it's really like it does. It just lame. it did seem like they were trying to do like the prophets from Halo. Remember the didact? What do we think of him? Was he shit? I don't remember. Mm. He's not a good villain either. <laughs> Who the didact? No, the didact sucks. I don't, mm. I don't remember the, the story the, of Halo 4 very well. Anymore. The thing with um, this guy is like, the Cabal have already been established to commit genocide, mm -hmm. like all the time. Like that's what they do. They literally and just trying to let they us blow up see from their planets, perspective. Yeah. Blow up like, suns. That's it. They have a ship that eats suns. That's it. Sounds interesting. Yeah. It's quite, told very it's, interestingly. Quite, it's quite a boring, like... It's just the Death Star, but in Destiny. Yeah. But I mean, like... But without any characters you care about. Why do they kill... other civilizations? Jim, can, can you, you haven't been paying attention to the lore. Or? No, can, well, Jim, can you actually you paying explain? attention in Destiny 1 where they established they the Cabal is, they, they, and you were supposed to read the there. Grimoire card about they it? They go there to the system, they get like everything they want from it, or they say like, well you're gonna just do what we say, or we're gonna blow you up. And then they take everything they want anyway and just blow them up. Right. Destiny needs like a, a humanoid bad guy. It needs someone... Cabal are human. Somewhat... They're just big. Okay, human, like a human then, or someone who's either one of the three races from Destiny. It would make it so much easier. To do what? Be a baddie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you could have a baddie that's grey instead of black or white. And I mean that in a racist way. Nah. <laughs> he does. Wait, why though? Why do <laughs> you need them to be human? You can't, you can't really relate or understand the intent of a fucking gross-looking Power Ranger alien. No, but like, they, like they, they, what they did in Halo 2 was actually like really clever. That was brilliant because of the like religious themes of it, and and how the boss bad guys were just these gross, shriveled, raisin aliens that sat in chairs mm -hmm. and did nothing but use religion to control a bunch Apart of stupid it turns aliens. Out their chairs have like guns, <laughs> and they go around like. Yeah, that was a mistake. So basically, how Destiny can fix itself is in the sequel, the bad guys Cade Six. No. <laughs> That'd be fucking awful. But well, they need someone who everyone, may, you know, it could be like this. Oh, we thought you were gone, and they're like, "Nope, I'm here." What's you a good cast villain? Me out. You What's cast a good me villain from video games, though? Uh, I can think of one off the top of my head. 
You can. Yeah. Is it just going to be Who Joker? Joker? And even that doesn't count. Okay. Joker, Joker counts, but he doesn't count. Cause, yeah. Because he's because Mark Hamill is yeah. already really good. And he Joker was already a thing. Before. Kind of like what Mark Hamill. I mean, like an original video game character. The only one I can think of is Saren from Mass Effect One. What about Bowser? Nope. What about <laughs> the lady from Gears of War Three? <laughs> the queen. She's they just never explained yeah. like why she's <laughs> a human. They're, they're, they're in the process of explaining it, Alex, in Gears of War Three. Yeah, um, yeah. They're always like uh, Bioshock. Uh, Vars is just kind of the Joker. Yeah. But Bioshock is a pretty good villain. Bioshock One. Yeah. I've never played it, so... Apart from the actual boss fight, like, it's fucking awful. But the actual villain... That's good shit. I think it is just because... In video games, they have this thing where... That you just assume you're going to fight the villain every time. Oh, I just thought of one, um... You're going to say Handsome Jack now. No, the black woman from Uncharted 4. Oh god, Nadine. Mother. She sucked, I didn't like Nadine. <laughs> Well, yeah, handsome Jack, though. guys, he's an epic villain. Handsome, yeah, charisma. I honestly handsome don't remember. Jack is actually like in the um in the Borderlands one. He is actually a good character in the Borderlands Telltale, Telltale, Telltale game. game. Yeah, he was actually genuinely pretty yeah. interesting. I'm amazed to say. <laughs> I mean, I am. But he, he's the always been learn about him, actually be like, like yeah. a decent character. Yeah, actually, That's the weird thing. He's just. But it's in just the way it's told game. in Borderlands is like so. Yeah. Boring. It's everything around Handsome Jack. That's yeah, because you you understand why he is like the way he is and all that. And it, it's like, just everything mostly it's told through um, like audio logs or whatever, mm -hmm. or when he's just talking mm -hmm. to him through that thing in the corner. Yeah, which is not that engaging. It's basically what Destiny does with the little ghost in the top it's right. What Bioshock game. does as well. That's true, yeah, actually. That's I've never played that Bioshock, so I can't engage. really. I was thinking about boss, but I completely forgot. They're never normally good. That's why. Because, well, there are some good villains in The Last of Us, I guess. David, is that his name? Yeah. That's a genuinely good villain. He is, yeah. And the main <laughs> character of that game. Well, that game just has good themes and good characters because it's, like, written well. Do you want to know a good villain? Um, the DLC for The Witcher 3. Oh, uh, um, yeah. The first Blood DLC. Wine. Blood and yeah. Oh, that yeah. is good, that yeah. is good, actually, The first yeah. DLC, because, like, but elaborate. Odam, Odam. No, You'll have to explain, because I haven't yeah, You it. basically start doing one thing for a certain character, but throughout this DLC, yeah, you... So no. the The villain of the DLC ends up becoming, well, depending on, like, the choice you make, but the logical choice, the villain of the DLC becomes the one you side with, and the person you originally were on the side of becomes the oh, villain. Oh, I thought you meant... No, yeah, his name's... Yeah. yeah, the actual bad guy. Like, yeah, I thought you mirror. I was going to say, the other guy's name isn't The that. guy who yeah. kills people for no reason. Fuck, what's his name? That's really... Mr. Ma Master... Uh, yeah, James was on the right line. Hang on. So I'm, I'm like, thinking... Like what's, yeah. what's the name of the guy with the like Fury or sword guy? Shit. Hang on. We're forgetting Alduin. James... Uh, Ol <laughs> Olgird, that's his name. Olgird, Olgird yeah. yeah. Olgird, he's, he's a fucking, like, amazing character. Yeah, I he's found Because his whole thing is that he can't die. Yeah. And he just wants to fucking die. And destiny. And he's but bored of everything. everything in like his life has just gone to shit. Like he's just a shell of what he used to be, and like he starts off just doing all this shit and you burning houses. Like, like I yeah, he, and shit. he like executes people and I I hated him at the start, but like yeah. every the story of the DLC is you've got to do three tasks for him, the villain. So then, um, do you know he's the villain? You're, you, or are you still making your mind up on him? Well, yeah, I mean, I you're, you're sort of meant to think he's the villain because, like, your first interaction with him is he sends you on a contract and he basically... Lies to you. Lies to you and tries to get you killed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, it's way too complex to explain yeah, like right really now, but... Yeah, it's actually. He gets you to do three things, which you have to do for someone else. But yeah. those those three things are each, like, a big story thing for this guy. See, all the best villains are the grey ones mm -hmm. you know with the, with the dim, dim. that's the one yeah. yeah i had to fucking find out yeah really good fucking dlc love it's that a, DLC. it's it's either it's the extremes it. yeah finished it it's fucking amazing yeah really you either fun. have a gray villain who you can sort of understand or you have just someone who's so insane and crazy Ooh. what about red dead i just feel like they're just horrible people right but like You'll have to remind me of certain parts because it's been such a long time. You know, like, time. your your job is to kill... Um, you're, like, hired by the government to... You're hired by the government to kill, like, the last three cowboys from your gang. Yeah. 
And then they finish you off as well to get rid of them all. Yeah. But the last one, like the, the leader of the previous gang, is like aware that he's done shitty things, but he hates the way like the world's changing. And mm -hmm. he kills himself instead of like letting you kill him. Oh yeah, I saw so it. Is that, that in the snowy place? place? Yeah, he jumps yeah. off the, the cliff. I remember that. And then the government man shoots his corpse and he's like a lot better on the my cinema. Yeah. What's his name? What Bill? Bill. No, Bill, Bill isn't Bill, Bill, Bill isn't the leader. Oh come on! Bill Javier Esquire. Uh, and I just forgot Ted. the Red Dead Two is a thing that exists. I just remembered. Just yeah. don't think about it until it comes yeah, out. Yeah, there's it. no point. It'll probably be delayed again. <laughs> yeah. It's not real. It was actually all a collective fever dream shared by it's the entire world. It's just a GTA world. update. Yeah. <laughs> there's horses now. Well, they all cost ten billion dollars. What's the actual dollars? fucking name of the gang guy? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Yeah, no, it does not matter. No, it's not Bill. Will. No, not Bill. Yeah. Bill's. I'm fucking out. I'm finding out now. God damn. All I've done is Google names of characters now for the past five <laughs> minutes. Red Dead's a really good game. If you haven't played it, play it. Anyone who has You know what a great it. villain is? What? This is out of video <laughs> games now. The fucking Emperor from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he actually is. Because because the, the themes are simplistic. Having the villain just be, I love being it's evil. Dutch. Mm -hmm. Dutch, yeah. It is. Yeah, that's it. Being evil is, is the greatest. Mm -hmm. And I just revel in how evil I am. Yeah, that works. That's why, like, instead of trying to make that Destiny 2 villain be relatable and you understand his motivations... Do, do they try to make him relatable? Yeah, they do. I've yeah, they sort do, of just been ignoring um, the cuts. Yeah, I would have much preferred it if it was a moustache twirling. I just want everyone to die, ever. Yeah. I that would make more sense. That would have been fine. That, that would have been like, I'm a dick, I hate you all. And then you would have been like, well, we hate you more. And yeah, that, gonna that's kill what you. I mean, though. Like, Simple if motivation. you've already established their, like, civilization... Yeah, it contradicts what they're all about. Yeah, he suddenly changed his tune. Can't spoil it, because... You yes. Know, at least if you know, find out that you're also just be you know like oh right. when it happens. So yeah, but you'll you'll know when you get there. It's strange because it's like we don't want people to say this villain is is boring or two dimensional. Let's give him his backstory. Where I'd say for something like Destiny, something it's just not important. Mm -hmm. You should use a vague background of good versus bad as your setup in the same way Star Wars does, but the intricacies come from the way characters interact with each other. Yeah, like the the thing with um, the Emperor being so evil mm -hmm. is that Darth Vader is the one that sort of like grey areas yeah, exactly. and switches side. So you have like the, the bar of extremes. You've got like the Emperor that side and you've got like Yoda that side and then everyone else sits somewhere in between mm -hmm. and that's where all the conflict comes from. Not... I just got the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> I would have preferred it if the villain had that voice. <laughs> hey there, guys. Let's destroy the whole world. The opening when he's like, <laughs> like, you're not brave. <laughs> you really forget what it means to die. <laughs> and then he kicks you off the edge. And that's it. And then you survive. And then the music cue is all like, just, you know, grave <sighs> after that. No, no, no. I have I I don't really like the music from Destiny Two so far. It's not as good as it's one. It's way worse than Destiny One's because of it's used better though. Yeah. I so I noticed it's used it better. Um, I mean, if bad music is used better, like it's not bad though. Worse. It, it does get better. Yeah, it does get better. You're not, not bad even. Music. Well, you're just over halfway. But. Like the tower music though, so much better than the farm music. We what? can't talk about it. It's spoilers. Yeah. Well, you, do you go back to the tower? Well, you can't talk about it. Spoilers. Why? It's too soon. Yeah, we can't talk about Why? it because there are people who are watching our podcast who. Are, who I mean, actually I care about the story of Destiny. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I would guess that you like go back to the tower. Wait. But the the context of it is right. the important part. Okay. But do you agree with me? The no, tower music, music isn't as good. No, because I was saying to what Ruben earlier. The, the sort of intent of it seems different to me. Whereas like Destiny's one music was all about mystery, and, now it's and leaving all things up to the imagination. Now it is about. Um, I just said like the conquest of it all. Just, yeah, yep, but like, do this it doesn't now. have that mysterious vibe no, I as much. I, I just think like music cues in video games are one of the most powerful things they've got. Well, no, I, I, I was going to say for like yeah. actual gameplay. M is it Martin O'Donnell? Mm-hmm. 
fucking nails it when it comes to like but then actual fight, gameplay he, he, music he, because like there was a fallout though so like got to rule that you one can't forever. you can't have music like hitting along with the exact things that you're doing like no. in a movie like like in a movie I I think about the Augie um, <coughs> calm down poor <coughs> I think about Mad Max, where everything's like. Hey! Come on, it's enough. Continue. Where everything is like on beat and stuff with the music. Mm -hmm. The action is edited. Or well, think perfectly. about like Baby Driver, where every action yeah. scene is edited around us. But you song. can't do that in games. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make the music like engaging but not intrusive, and it can't like. It's supposed to propel you along, mm -hmm. encourage you yeah. to... Which his music always does really well. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well, well they still likes... got Michael Salvatore involved. Yeah, he's but... been there da, 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 all along. Da, da, da. Yeah. The same guy. It just doesn't feel as juicy, you know? Sapphic's I feel like prime. you need to play more. Yeah. Casting a great shadow over the city. I feel like it needs to play more because there are parts where they do do exactly what you just said. Because despite everything Destiny 1 did badly, the music's the one thing they did well. And Con Destiny consistently. One. Yeah. yeah, Destiny 1 of fucking amazing music. Yeah. And it has themes that are still being carried over and stuff. Which is cool. <laughs> the Destiny soundtrack was the one thing that gave me headaches about that game. What? Shut up, James. The song about that, that means game, it was I good then. No, it gave me headaches because <laughs> yeah, it's just James like being like shit. It just gave me headaches. I can't play it. It, I get PTSD from um, listening. Yeah, because of what you associate it with. But yeah, I hate the little jingle when you like start up Destiny One. They changed it though. Which one do you mean? Oh yeah, the original jingle. Why? Right, that was a good one. I know it's good, but like, <laughs> it just made me think of like. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can't do it though. It just made me think of us logging in to Destiny, playing it for far too long. I'm not really having a very great guys, time. What you, guys, what's he eating? It's like this clear thing he just started chewing. It's not Gaius either. I know he's not Gaius. He's, he's, he's That's Argyle. That's Ar Argy the Corgi, apparently. It's fluff. It's not fluff, it's plastic. He's being all weird Bad. and like normal again. Argy. Now, isn't he? Oh, baby. So, Jim. Uh, I can't wait to go buy Mom some Mum reminded chips. me of something. She said, I can't wait for the day where Argy walks around with something in his mouth crying and then buries it. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot that was a thing yeah. that he did. There's something he started doing again, though, that he always used to do, where when he's hungry, he goes and gets his bowl and picks it up and walks <laughs> around with it. Oh, yeah. God, the steroids really did fuck him up, didn't they? Yeah. They ruined him. Yeah. He went now he's being, gradually coming back. Yeah, he went from being... Fu he's like the guy... He lost his light. Yeah, that's, I was going to make that the joke. The Cabal well. trapped his light. Mm-hmm. And he's he got to get it back. That's one thing about Destiny 2. I, I just want them to explain, like, the bare essentials of how the universe works. Like, I still don't yeah. understand what the Traveler light is, really. And why it uh, is. It's yeah, bound in endless I thought they were going to really delve into that. And reveal something. I want it to turn into a didact and just fuck it. Yeah, it opens and the didact comes out. <laughs> Now I can ruin this series too. <laughs> Jim. Margie, so being a little wormuloid. Yeah. I think we're about at the end. So. Jim, do you want to explain that thing you told us before the cast? No. Explain that for no, 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 no. I think no, it's no. a good thing to end on. Fuck it. Just plug oh, yeah, ears, just, really. just say it. Come on. Plug your ears. Right. Say it. No, you can say it then. I forgot what it was. Oh, it. Okay. If you, what, you're not going to say it, Jim? No, you, you can go. Jim was is telling it real? Us, yeah, this is actually real. As far as I'm aware, it's okay. something I've been told that actually okay. had okay. happened. Okay. Jim was told so. something, which he then told us, and he's not going to say, so I have to and say. And I think it was mayonnaise. I'm pretty sure it was mayonnaise. Okay. Because that, I, I love mayonnaise, so I always talk about mayonnaise. So that's where that story came from. Right. <laughs> Are you done? Anything else before we start? <laughs> Garlic mayonnaise is really funny. Okay, so a woman... Oh, the subject of garlic mayonnaise. A woman... Shut up. A woman used mayonnaise as lubricant for sex, right? And so, like, you know, had the mayonnaise all up in her vagina and the shit and all that shit, you know? Uh, it, whatever. So how many days passed? It was like two weeks... A few weeks later. Let's, let's say, like, some, some, some time passes. 
time passes and she's just having orgasms on the reg. Doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, does she go to the doctors first or does she find out about... I don't know. I just know, like... Wh- the end game is, all right, of this story, that it's because there were loads of maggots inside of her because of the mayonnaise and they were wiggling around in there. <laughs> doing all sorts. So at the end of the day, we learn size doesn't no, but matter. My question is, all how you need is loads of maggots. <laughs> Lots of little things can get the job done too. Yeah, that's why I call my penis the maggot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Argy, he's a maggot. Jim, on the subject of mayonnaise, <laughs> do you want to go get some garlic mayo chips? Yeah. No, no, Jim, I bought these socks only a few weeks ago. Tune in next week where we rape James. Oh. Subject of really gay or